And the Grace and Delilah dilemma continues. Join me to find out what happened and why I am doing this unboxing. Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Well, today is Wellness Wednesday. So happy Wellness Wednesday, everyone. And I am going to do an unbagging of a product or a box that for me was very, very meaningful, especially for Wellness Wednesday. I had issues with the subscription and but I'm not going to go into the details of it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And but I will put the video in an end card at the end of this video so that you can take a look at it and find out what happened and why I was not supposed to be getting this bag anymore. This is the bag that it came in and I removed all of the products because that bag makes a lot of noise. Uh, but this is the Grace and Delilah box or bag. I was on the fence about it. I thought about it. I've had it for a week, week and a half and gave it some very serious consideration because I was still feeling a little a little burned, I guess you can call it. But at the end of the day, it was charged, not refunded as they said that they would when I contacted them because they charged my card even after it was supposed to be canceled out. The email said that it was canceled. Then the email that they responded to because they charged my card again they said I was going to get a refund and instead of getting a refund, I received an email a few days later to letting me know that my shipment was on its way. So like I said, it was a little bitter type burn feeling, but at the end of the day, it is a Christian style subscription box with books that I will definitely read. So. My attitude has got to change about that. Was I burned? Yes. Hopefully this time around it is completely canceled. I guess February 15th is the day that we will find out if I get billed again. Hopefully not. Uh, I did reach out to them again afterwards, letting them know why are you shipping it? You were supposed to give me a refund. I haven't heard from them since until I went on Crate Joy, left a review on their particular uh, box, explaining why I was disappointed in the box. It, they asked for the review, I gave the review. I was not disrespectful, I was not any of that. I just simply stated what had happened and they reached back and said that if they needed to do a refund, they would do it. I haven't received anything, so. Hopefully it is canceled. Hopefully it's not coming back, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this box. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. So, this is the first product that is in here. And by the way, this time I did not get any of the cards that I normally get that say Grace and Delilah, but this is for January, 2021, 2022. I received some seeds for flowers, ironically, something that grows, right? Uh, something beautiful so not upset about this some flowers is something that I had been thinking of growing I've seen so many people grow them and I'm looking forward to that then I have another seed packet and this one is let me see if there's any okay these are from the Vermont wildflower farm so I was trying to find the company and these are also from the Vermont Wildflower Farm. These are wildflower seeds. It says it is commit random acts of kindness and senseless acts of beauty. <laughs> Ironic, but neither here nor there. And once again, one of their pads I do like their pads and I have been using their pads or which are now my pads because you know I paid for it so 
this is what I have. I have another pad and I do use them a lot, like I said. So then we get to the actual reason I subscribed to the Grace and Delilah box and that was for their books. And this one is, and I'm going to read a little bit passage, a little, I am going to read a passage out of each of the books. And this is the first one. And I do need my glasses. This one says, uh, it's actually written by, and I'm, I know I'm going to butcher the name, uh, Laton Layton Roland Murphy. Learn to live, love, and lead courageously as you boldly choose to trust God. Whether you're facing struggles with singleness, the mounting challenges of marriage and motherhood, health issues, a financial crisis, God has equipped you to walk in freedom and confidence as you abide by, uh, abide in Him, not by Him, in Him, strengthened by His power and provision. Through the stories of 11 brave women of the Bible who made faith-filled choices that positioned them for success, Laton Roland Murphy exhorts, encourages, and empowers women of all ages with warmth and wit. She illustrates how you, like Deborah, Jael, Mary, and others, can look beyond your circumstances and lay hold of the courage needed to draw closer to Jesus when facing illness, isolation, or rejection, to live and give generously even amid financial hardships, and to step out of step out into faithful fearless living as a wife mother friend or co-worker no matter the season of life or what lies ahead and that is the author and this is the reason that I truly truly enjoyed this subscription because I do love to read these books and it's with a heavy heart that I I'm going to continue leaving it as a canceled subscription for now. And the next book in here is this one here. And this is A Woman of Words, Angela Hunt, New York Times bestselling author. So let's go ahead and read a little bit about the book. And it says, could the greatest calling of their lives still be ahead of them? Mary, mother of Yeshua, is nearing 60, and though she still delights in serving alongside the disciples, she has begun to feel her age and experience fading memories. She feels compelled to re record, not receive, record the stories of Yeshua's life while the eyewitnesses are still alive. And like I said, these two books, and it's this is how the subscription usually came. Two books and a few little goodies here and there but these books are actually in outstanding condition so no torn no any of what I had previously but these are the two books that I will be reading and enjoying because I am taking the attitude of it is what it is it got charged I didn't get my refund I'm going to enjoy what I paid for so that is my attitude on this because at the end of the day, my wellness, which goes with Wellness Wednesday, my wellness is what matters. And I'm going to let bygones be bygones and take the attitude of positivity and make myself well. Mentally, physically, emotionally, all that came with the turmoil of the Delilah box. For now, I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Smile always. Bye.